Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about my daily and my weekly inserts. Um, this Filofax is a companion to my main monthly planner, which is that basic slim half year astrology. Um, I don't really use any like stickers in there. It's just pen to paper, highlighter. And I do that on purpose because I want to have something that's just a little bit more fun. So my dailies are super, super simple in that, um, well, I have two set of dailies now. <laughs> I've got these that uh, look like so. So I've got a today, I've got a checklist, and I've got a notes. I heavily use these for like a brain dump and a kind of um, pre-planning in a way. I, I use both of the dailies like that. It's just a way for me to write. I love to write, to rewrite information, and to now use stickers. So I was missing stickers in my uh, lineup. I tried to just do away with them, and that just did not work. So first, these. My friend made these. I like to just write the, the date. I like to write in like bolder black ink. I've been using the Sarasa 0.7 for that, and it's just, I don't know, it's just gives me a way to write, like, our events on top, what's going on, and then just a checklist, any kind of notes. Sometimes I'll journal there, so um, I kind of heavily been using these for the past few days. So Sunday, like, it was a rainy day, set up personal rings and my friend made me inserts. That was really the top three things that happened. It wasn't like appointments. Then I used my bullet journal key code very um, heavily in here, and that's what I really, really like. I really love to use a um, bound book most times for my commonplace, and I haven't been doing that because in here, um, I don't really have a space because I'm getting February and March in here, which is new too. <laughs> January, all the new things. So um, I wanted to print my scripture writing inserts that aren't in here. Maybe I'll do another setup video on that or a, a talk through on that. So I did that. I had initially put this in the front, um, you know, like, literally over here to remind me and then once I did it I just put it on the actual day that I did it so on Monday my son had an early practice my I keep track of my husband's assignments and internship so I remember like when he comes home what he's going to be working on so I don't plan anything or you know we won't have like dinner together because I'll know what his schedule looks like in terms of school and then just a checklist. I wanted to buy some phonics books um, and then make lowercase flashcards. And then yesterday, um, I've been kind of liking too to highlight just with these past um, ones to kind of use a Tombow to highlight the actual day checklist and notes it calls attention to me and then I'm liking to highlight the events with my color coding system for my family and I really do like to use this whole little setup so I have Tombow markers in here and my outliners that are um, indicative of my family's coding system so here's today I've got a grooming appointment my son has an allergy shot. My husband has a discussion question due. And that just reminds me, like, even if he comes home, it's like, okay, hey, you, you've got this due, right? You know that, right? <laughs> I like to help him stay on track. And um, most likely, most times he don't really need me, but whatever. I like to do that. So my checklist and then any notes I will write there. So I printed out a whole bunch of these. And that is the daily section for that. I was, um, I have my Monticello inserts in the Franklin Covey compact size. I cut them down to the personal size, as you saw in my pretty planning 
video and um i i don't know i really love the section pretty planning and function i have always kind of done that and you guys seen me do this one on camera and this is how it kind of panned out and then i wanted something fun for a cover sheet and so I just got an image on Pinterest and yeah, just printed this on vellum and it's super de duper cute in my opinion. And um, I love white nails. I actually took my nails off because I need a break and they're horrid, just horrible in terms of, uh, they were so long because I just kind of like had an overlay and oh my gosh, it was, it's, I just need my nubs. So I love, but I love white nails and black nails and Starbucks and all this looks just appealing. So I put that there. What is going on? I don't think it's all the way on. Okay, so with my pretty planning, I'm allowed, I'm allowed, oh my goodness. I am just allowing myself to go crazy with stickers again. And um. I think that was the key to just allow myself a section or allow myself a book to do that. So I kind of just use a lot of these little functional stickers here. Once these are done, I'll probably just pull out some from my favorite Happy Planner book. But I like to denote our, our days and I like to put down, like this is just a hodgepodge of stuff, right? So, you know, I like to put down my our color coding key. I like to, you know, um, journal. I like to remind myself I need to get my cat a new, another mat. She is such a furry cat. Like, that's why she's got grooming today. She's having a lot of, like, grooming issues. So I need another litter mat to, like, basically give her a huge stepping space. Um... I started fasting again yesterday, and I'm gonna keep track of that in another insert, but um, I'll kind of like, as the month progresses, I'll show you what inserts I've added because I've added quite a few um, since the video. And I'm not sure if I even showed the cover change in the last video. I, <laughs> I went to the Malden because 20 millimeter rings was, was not working anymore. Um, so away game, fasting, I need to still make the flashcards for, uh, February, Valentine's Bay, the bags I want to get, get a little cards. I already have the bags. I need to get the cards, the candy and make a special dinner just to show my family, you know, a cheesy way of fall, um, of having some kind of thing to do with our family. Get on the treadmill, homeschool stuff, real estate stuff. I am going to try when I'm teaching her reading just the letter sounds first, which are all lowercase, the blending of two letter words, like just simple as that. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm just going back to basics because it's just hard right now to kind of teach a special needs child how to read. So I'm just going to go there. So here is today and I have... We have an allergy, allergy shot and the drop off and weigh myself. The bus was late. I mean, I'm just having a lot of fun, y'all. I'm having a lot of fun on these and I love them. So in terms of my weekly, I have two inserts too. <laughs> two inserts too. I am loving, like, again, the more functional side of the week. Put our events. Top three to-dos any notes, anything like that. And then I'm also loving um, to keep track of the weather, um, uh, just stuff I wanna do for videos, um, emails, what we actually did. So yesterday was a rainy day, it was cray cray, and this was one of those things where we did nothing. So I had a whole like do the letter sounds, take turns, Duolingo, Khan Academy, read alouds, all that. I need to make like a, a dashboard or a vellum for this because I don't like keeping it on the actual page. But we didn't do anything. 
So I'm gonna get ready to pre-plan some things and I've been using this section right here to pre-plan and then um, what actually what actually happened. So we did online apps, Duolingo and Khan Academy are very good free online apps that are actually really good and then teach a lot of different things. Um, and then we did handwriting. We did her handwriting book and we practiced handwriting. Like I have a bunch of stuff right here that it's her, that's curriculum based. I know it's daily pages, but this is like the reading stuff. This is the handwriting. I keep this right here to help her with, you know, remembering her letters. And then I've got a language arts curriculum and a math curriculum. So you know, we follow, we follow structure, but sometimes she really doesn't like the, um, the books kind of thing. So I do a lot of on the online stuff too, to supplement. So anyhow, I am keeping track of this. I just haven't updated it. And let's see if I can write with my right hand. So I'm trying to teach her like how to successfully brush your teeth. Like um, she hasn't, I mean, as far as exercise, it's been raining. So she likes to run around the house. She likes to like, she stims a lot. So jumps up and down and like just moves. She's always constantly moving while she's watching TV. We did no handwriting, no math, no con, no nothing. So we didn't do that anything yesterday. So I'm also keeping track of this to help me like stay accountable for homeschooling. So I really, really, really enjoy these inserts as well. I use these for like family and like, it's just another way and another insert because these are my main weekly inserts and then these are my main dailies over here. And I just love to journal on my dailies as well. So I like to just get little milestones on my dailies and if I don't have any more space, this ring planner just does a really good job in cutting and catching it for me. So between the, for me, what's key is having functional and a pretty planning section. I call it pretty planning. It's just, I call it pretty because there's a whole bunch of stickers on it. So I used to call it, you know, stickerage or, you know, whatever, but there's something about laying a sticker down and writing in different pens and writing, like just seeing your day, like that was the emotion of getting up at six in the morning or 5.30 really, the washing the dishes, doing a little depiction with me and my daughter as I did real estate stuff, baking stuff, you know, you know, a little sneaky face because we went to Barnes, you know, like it's just a good visual way to see how our days went versus just you know the actual checklist of actual things that we need to do and so this is just more fun based so anyhow i wanted to show you that we now i've now updated my february i put the january in the back um because i want to i don't know if i want to to start saving inserts for feb for january because i didn't really do a lot. I have a lot in, I have a little bit in personal wide and then I have a little bit of here. So if and when I do save those, I will just attach that to it and, and do that. So anyhow, my friends, I love my daily and my weekly section. So I thought I would talk about it. Thanks for watching and God bless you.